The Panama Canal is an essential canal that links the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, offering a key detour for international trade and business. But because of the constraints of its present infrastructure and the expansion of global trade, this famous project is experiencing rising congestion. Several nations have put up other routes to the Panama Canal in an effort to overcome this problem. Mexico has put out one of the most ambitious and possibly revolutionary proposals. The Transoceanic Corridor, a $4.5 billion alternative proposal to the Panama Canal, was unveiled by the Mexican government in 2019. The goal of this massive project is to build a new canal that will run parallel to the Panama Canal, giving international commerce an other route and undermining the Panama Canal's monopoly. Let's examine the Transoceanic Corridor and its possible effects on international commerce as well as the Panama Canal in more detail. Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Overview of the Transoceanic Corridor The Transoceanic Corridor, which would link the Pacific Ocean with the Gulf of Mexico, would stretch 220 miles 354 kilometers, across the Tehuantepec Isthmus in Mexico. A deep water port would be built on either coast as part of the proposal, along with a 197-mile canal and a rail system to link the two ports. The proposed canal would be deeper than the existing Panama Canal, which is just 50 feet 15 meters, deep. It would be 82 feet 25 meters, deep. Larger ships and boats would be able to transit via the corridor as a result, easing traffic and shortening journey times for international commerce. The narrowest point in Mexico, where the distance between the two coastlines is just around 124 miles 200 kilometers, is traversed by the planned Transoceanic Corridor route. As a result, it would be a more direct path between the two seas than the 50-mile Panama Canal. Building highway and rail infrastructure to link the new ports to Mexico's current transportation system is another aspect of the project that would facilitate the movement of products across the nation. This would promote economic development and home commerce in addition to enhancing international trade. Impact on global trade The Transoceanic Corridor's development may have a big impact on international commerce. It would provide ships another path, avoiding the Panama Canal and relieving traffic at one of the most important waterways in the world. Since there is currently no other way for ships to transit between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, any delays or interruptions might have a big effect on international commerce. The Transoceanic Corridor offers a different path, which may lessen the chance of trade interruption and provide shipping firms a more cost-effective choice. Larger ships and ships that are now unable to sail through the Panama Canal owing to its constraints would also be able to transit via the Transoceanic Corridor because it would enable more economical and effective delivery of commodities between the two seas, this would have a significant positive impact on the worldwide shipping sector. Additionally, it may lower transportation costs for businesses, promoting more commerce and economic expansion. Challenges and Controversies The Transoceanic Corridor project is not without difficulties and controversy, despite its seeming ability to change the course of history. Finding money for such a large endeavor is one of the biggest obstacles. The project is expected to cost a substantial $4.5 billion, and in order to make it happen, the Mexican government will mostly depend on foreign money and private investment. The project's possible effects on the environment are yet another contentious issue. Dredging and excavation would be necessary for the building of the ports and canal, which may be detrimental to the surrounding fauna and ecosystems. Additionally, the road crosses through areas inhabited by indigenous people, which raises questions regarding possible community relocation. Environmental and indigenous rights organizations have opposed the project and staged demonstrations in response to these concerns. The possible effects of the Transoceanic Corridor on the monopoly of the Panama Canal are a significant source of contention. The proposed project may jeopardize the Panama Canal's status as the sole ship route connecting the two oceans, which has been a major source of income for the nation. Tensions have resulted between Mexico and Panama as a result, with the latter voicing worries over possible financial losses. Moreover, worries exist that the Transoceanic Corridor may result in an excessive shipping capacity, which would lower prices and negatively impact the project's profitability. The project's financiers and investors may face serious difficulties as a result of this. Potential Benefits for Mexico Mexico stands to gain a great deal from the Transoceanic Corridor, despite its difficulties and disputes. Significant building and maintenance work would be needed for the project, which would boost the local economy and create jobs. Additionally, 
it would strengthen the nation's logistics and transportation sectors, making it more competitive on the international stage. Additionally, the project may help Mexico's poor areas grow, especially in the states of Veracruz and Oaxaca, where the new ports are supposed to be situated. Increased trade and economic possibilities may result from this, which may lower income disparity and raise living standards in the affected areas. Additionally, the enhanced transportation network may draw in new business ventures and capital to these areas, spurring additional economic growth. Future Outlook We're currently in the early phases of the Transoceanic Corridor project, so it's unclear when it will be completed. The first phase of construction is scheduled to start in 2022 and be completed in 2023, according to blueprints released by the Mexican government. However, it is unlikely whether this deadline will be fulfilled given the present state of the world economy, as well as the many difficulties and disputes surrounding the project. The Transoceanic Corridor's success will also be influenced by a number of other circumstances, including obtaining financing and resolving environmental issues. The project may have a major positive impact on international commerce and Mexico's economy if these obstacles are overcome. Conclusion the Transoceanic Corridor is an audacious and ambitious project that might upend the Panama Canal's monopoly and transform international commerce. Should it be accomplished well, Mexico stands to gain a great deal from it, including increased GDP, employment opportunities, and better infrastructure. The project is not without controversy, however, as it faces difficulties getting money and dealing with environmental issues. It's also unclear how the Panama Canal will react to this possible competitor and what effect it would have on its standing as a major participant in international commerce. Whether the Transoceanic Corridor will materialize and fulfill its promise of offering a more effective and alternate path for international commerce remains to be seen. However, as of right now, it's still a big project that might have a big influence on the global and Mexican economies. This is it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Comment below with your thoughts and let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.